Okay, so things we did to make it easier for you, he's got you a better posture and ballast. you got a better spine angle now. When I first saw you, you were standing literally straight up and down, right? And you were closer to the ball, and your weight was more on the heels. So now, suggested, take your grip, put the club down, the shaft and the club head, which you've done, tilt from the hips forward, and probably just a little more, more knee flex, as you can see with our golf pro to the right, to get you even more athletically positioned on the balls of your feet for better stability, right? Everything else as far as grip, ball position, width of stance, even overall alignment of your body is quite good. So it's balance and posture which are key. We're going to watch your swing going back. You can see how you take the club back with your arms and hands. As you take it back and the club starts to rise up your body, the big thing was about there holding on to it. And you can still see at the very top you lose a bit of grip pressure, right? And the club drops, right? Before that was even more severe. Okay, so if we can just think of that backswing feeling a little more compact, it simply means that when you finish the turn, we hold on to it and there's no loosening of our grip whereby the club can collapse, right? Because if it does all that, you have to regrip it. This swing, you do a good job of bringing the club back in front of your body and re-extending it towards the ball, squaring it up and hitting it. But to rely on all that recovery and timing is not easy. Unless you're hitting 1,000 balls a day, it's not going to be easy to do. So the less moving parts to your swing and the more compact the backswing that you maintain, the better control you'll be able to develop.